Welcome to the palace of King Abuda. Many people thought of this Arab king as, as though he's not just a king, but that he's God of the Nabataeans. Uh, we are in the Nabataean city. Actually, his palace is here, one of his palaces. Of course, there was five major kings of the Nabataeans um, who were in living um, all throughout Arabia. Um, they inhabited northern, northern Arabia and southern Levant, of course. Uh, their capital was the city of Rakhmu or Petra, as it's known in, in, uh, today. And uh, so the borderland between Arabia and Syria, from the Euphrates all the way down to the Red Sea, is there. They had a network, a spice trade network. They made their money off trading goods like incense and spices. Uh, they weren't big on writing things down or planting vineyards or building houses. In fact, later in the fourth century, they were totally conquered. And the Romans actually built a lot of them. The stuff we hear. What we did notice is that these Nabataeans eventually converted to Christianity, and here in the middle of the desert, the Negev Desert, you have a church. That's right, look at that, a Byzantine church. Consider donating to Restoration and be a part of fulfilling God's prophetic plan for this hour.